resentment that the BJP is facing right now in Karnataka from three different quarters. It earlier started with Mr. Ishwarappa, who expressed his uh, disappointment with respect to his son being denied a ticket from Haveri, which also led to anger that was brewing from his quarters, where Ishwarappa decided to contest as an independent against Mr. Yedurappa's son, B.Y. Raghavendra, from Shimoga. After that, we now have Mr. Sadananda Gauda, who has made his displeasure known in the public, where he has said that he has been humiliated by the BJP, especially after being persuaded to make a comeback into the party after he decided to retire from electoral politics. Now he has been denied a ticket from Bengaluru North and instead this has been offered to another vocal liga leader who is Shobha Karanlaji. Interestingly, Shobha Karanlaji had also faced anti-incumbency in her constituency Udupi Chikmagalur but yet has been fielded from Bengaluru North. This has definitely not gone down well with Mr. Sadananda Gauda. Overtures are being made to Mr. Sadananda Gauda by the Congress on one hand, the BJP is trying to placate him on the other. The BJP is trying to maintain a very cool face at this point in time, claiming that all these resentment would be resolved soon. As we speak, Mr. B.Y. Vijendra, who is the Karnataka BJP president, as well as his father, BJP veteran B.S. Yedurappa, have been moving to Delhi to iron out all these differences and overcome all the hurdles. But will they really be successful is another question. We are talking about the Lingayat strongman who has already amassed the Lingayat base in Karnataka. Now the BJP is trying to gather the Vokaliga base as well, which has led to their downfall with respect to the recent assembly election. And that is precisely why they have joined hands with the JDS for the Lok Sabha election. Remember, the JDS is a party that is known to have its Vokaliga base. And this alliance has definitely not really turned out to be as amicable as we thought it to be. Because Mr. Kumar Sami of the JDS has also expressed his resentment with the seat sharing talks not going down the JDS way. Will the BJP clear all these resentments that are emerging from three different quarters to ensure the smooth prospects of the BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha election? Well, that has to be closely watched. With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.